After days of wrangling, it's a close ally of German Chancellor Angela Merkel who's got the nod for what many see as the most important EU job. Ursula von der Leyen, Germany's defence minister and a self-proclaimed federalist, is the leader's nomination for the post of European Commission president. Even if Germany abstained on the Commission president due to some issues in the government coalition, personally Chancellor Merkel supported the whole package. First and foremost, we have chosen two women and two men for the four key positions. A perfect gender balance. I'm really happy about it. After all, Europe is a woman. Charles Michel, the Belgian Prime Minister, is nominated to be the next head of the European Council, with Spain's Foreign Minister, Josep Borrell, as the EU's foreign policy chief. While the International Monetary Fund boss, Christine Lagarde, is nominated to head the European Central Bank. Of course we all had to give a bit, we all had to move, but once again the European Council has proved the fact that it's capable of doing so, and given the disparate conceptions in Europe and amongst the various party groups and families and the various Prime Ministers, I believe it to be an asset. The Dutch Labour leader Frans Timmermans had been seen as the front-runner for Commission President as the talk started on Sunday, but there was a big pushback from countries including Poland, Hungary, the Czech Republic and Slovakia, the so-called Visegrad Four. The Hungarians and Poles have been strongly criticised by Timmermans over their record on the rule of law. Throughout these negotiations, Donald Tusk, the president of the European Council, has been wary of putting things to a vote, preferring to reach consensus, however slowly. The process has highlighted not just national divisions, but the struggle for influence between Europe's political families. The top appointments are meant to take into account the results of the recent European elections. The group that did best, the centre-right EPP, insisted one of its candidates should head the Commission. But the lead candidate of the Greens has denounced the package as a backdoor deal and old Europe at its worst. And it's not a certainty that the Parliament will approve the new names. Angela Merkel says the EU could explore new rules to avoid repeating the squabbles we've just seen. For example, direct elections and transnational lists. Whatever happens, the calls for greater transparency are likely to get louder. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, Brussels.